So, Rose Namajunas comes out of UFC 251, gets the big wins over Jessica Andrade, and starts making the a few appearances on media outlets, you know, in in the following days, as you as you normally expect. And while she's giving an interview with Ariel Hawani, he asks her, "Hey, what do you think about facing Zhang Weili? She's the champ right now. This would be a natural fight. A lot of people going into the fight were talking about it. What do you think?" She said that no talks had been happening about it yet. Nobody had mentioned anything to her officially, but it seemed like the natural fight to make. And yes, that she wanted it. She was like, I'm all for it. Of course I want it. And when you think about it, of course it makes sense. I mean, she's only lost one time in recent memory. And that was to Jessica Andrade with that slam in their first fight when she got slammed on her head. She comes back, avenges the loss. She beat Joanna Janjacek twice. That's the top of the division right there. Rose Namajunas, Zhang Weili, Joanna Janjacek, Jessica Andrade. Rose Namajunas and Zhang Weili are the only ones who haven't fought. And they're both the ones who have beaten the other girls. So it's only natural, especially with one of them holding the belt in this way, and this time it's Wei Li, with her holding the belt, it's only natural that those two are gonna square off. You would think it would be the next fight as well. Now the question becomes, not is that fight gonna happen, not does each girl want it to happen, because Rose just voiced her opinion on it wanting to happen, and in the past, I believe Zhang Wei Li has been very complimentary of Rose's skill set and saying that she would like to fight her as well. So in that sense, you think there wouldn't be any kind of pushback. You think there wouldn't be any kind of trouble in making the fight. However, what if you're Rose's team? How would you feel about it then? What if you were Trevor Whitman? I don't know if they're like officially still together. I don't know if Pat's taken over. Well, I guess he was working the corner in the last fight. I think he used to be the head coach and now he's kind of stepped back and Pat's the head coach. He's still a part of her camp. He's still a part of the team. How, would, how does he feel about it? Because here's the thing, in my opinion, the Rose isn't going to match up well against Zhang Weili. Now, let me explain that. It's all about styles. Styles make fights. People have been saying it forever because it's still the truth. So think about it like this. Rose moves beautifully from the outside. Amazing footwork. Cuts angles well. Throws feints. Moves in and out. Controls with the jab. Let's off some kicks. Long combinations. Good punches. That's what she's built for. That's where she excels. She's got a good body type for it. She's got good um, musculature for it. She's trained well for it. She does really well there. It's one of the reasons why she was able to not only beat Joanna Dundacek, but it's the way in which she beat her. I think that she could fight Joanna 100 times and she's going to beat her like 95 of them. Now, do I think she dominates her like that because she's that much better of a fighter? No, absolutely not. I think she dominates her like that because styles make fights. She just happens to be the kryptonite to what Joanna has. We can see that Rose had more trouble with Andrade than Joanna had. Why? Again, styles make fights. Joanna's more of that like Dutch kickboxing style. The way Rose came in, she won, but she, she ran into some trouble. Got her nose broke, eye all swollen and everything. Imagine if that would have went five. Maybe Andrade's power, Andrade's power would have won out, would have been the story of the day, and she would have ended up stopping Rose. So that brings us to the fight with Whaley. How is that going to play out when that fight happens? I absolutely, Because I absolutely believe it's going to happen. And I think it's kind of going to play out the same way in certain elements as you saw with Andrade in the sense that Rose is going to dominate from the outside. She's going to move around a lot. And Wei Li's going to start out stalking. Wei Li's a lot more light on her feet, moves out much better than Andrade, but that's going to be the basic general pattern of the fight to begin with. Rose is going to try and set the grounds, from, set everything from the outside. She's going to try to get her rhythm, set the timing of the fight, set the pace of the fight, try to control the distance, and Wei Li is going to naturally fall into that stalker role. That's what she wants to do. So she's probably going to land, some, Rose is going to land some good shots and everything's going to go well. Wei Li will shoot some, shoot some counters in, attempt to close the distance behind the jab and things like that. And Rose will look good at that time. However, that's not going to be the story of the fight. That's not going to, what is going to be the most telling moments. The most telling moments are going to be as soon as Zhang Wei Li gets the timing. She's so explosive. She's going to close that distance and she's going to land a one-two. It's all it's going to be. She's going to close the distance. It's going to be a jab and a straight right hand. And she's going to catch Rose with it. We could see the way Andrade came in. Andrade doesn't have anywhere near the technique or the high skill level when it comes to pure striking that Zhang Wei Li has. And she's so strong. Went a hard five rounds with the Yoan. Whether or not you thought she won that fight, is irrelevant. She went a hard five rounds with her. Came out on top, yes, 
But think about what she was still bringing in the fifth round. And think about the way of how we just saw how Rose handles power. Because she got her nose broke in that fight. She didn't look good. She was busted up at the end. Yeah, she won the fight. She won it fair and square, in my opinion. But it makes me question how she's going to go do going forward against Zhang Weili, someone who's a much better striker than Andrade, someone who's much more, as just as explosive, I'll say, but someone just as strong, but just a much more natural, better striker. You know, so I have to be honest, if I was in Rose's camp at this point, I mean, it's it's you're in a tough spot because I'd look at it, honestly, I'd have to say, we're not going to match up well in that fight. We'd have to do a little something. I'd want to get maybe another fight in the meantime to work on some kind of specific game plan that's going to help out. But that isn't what everybody wants. That isn't the next fight. The next fight is Zhang Weili. That's what's on the card. That's what the UFC wants. Rose voice, that is what she wants. Zhang Weili's voice, that it's what she wants. That's the next fight on the card. So if you're a guy like Pat Berry, if you're a guy like Trevor Whitman, that means you got to come up with a game plan that's going to work, that's going to allow her to come in there and actually walk away with the victory. And I think that's going to be tough. I think that's going to be a tall order considering what Zhang Weili brings to the table. Man. Well, either way, phenomenal performance by Rose. I'm always looking forward to seeing her fighting again, whether it's against Zhang Weili or anybody else. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments about how this one went and about what you think's in store for her next.